Hi everyone, I'm Rhett Rogers. Uh, this is my first scripted video officially on YouTube. I've done a few live videos before now. This is my first one though that I decided to prep it a little better and uh, give you a good quality video. Today we're going to be talking about the iHome Control Smart Plug. It is a smart device you can hook up to your network and control appliances, lights, whatever you want to plug into it using your smartphone or smart device that you have hooked up to your network. This hooks up to many different networks and systems like Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa, uh, Google Assistant, Nest. They're all listed on here. There's quite a few of them. This is a very versatile device. Today we're going to be using Apple HomeKit. I'm going to show you how to set it up using Apple HomeKit. The reason that I'm picking Apple HomeKit to set this up is me, I am a iOS developer. I make iOS apps. Um, I really enjoy doing it. I really like Apple's ecosystem and I really like HomeKit. I have quite a few devices set up and this is one of the devices I really like. And I got this a few weeks ago and I wanted to show it to you all and show you how you can set it up at home for yourself. Yeah, so let's dive into it. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's unbox this guy. I know this is really funny because uh, you see videos on YouTube about them unboxing like expensive computers or iPads or phones. Or This is a dinky little $30 device you can find at Home Depot if you want. So, just gonna get this, uh, peel this little thing off the bottom first. <laughs> this won't be the most exciting uh, unboxing, but it should be a little fun. Oh, it slides out. So here we go, slide it out. Then off to the side. I home control. And there we go. There's the, the beautiful device for right here. Pops right out. A little bit of plastic on the front. And there she be. Now, the nice thing about this is for HomeKit, you have to have a little code to set it up, and it's just stuck right on the bottom there. This is handy to have. I also have an app that I use to keep track of these, just so you know. Um, there's nothing else in this box. Little instruction manual, uh, quick start guide. Oh wait, this instruction manual is in uh, French. This one's in English. So there you go, unboxing. Let's plug it in and get it set up. Okay, so now we're gonna plug this thing into the wall. Um, I told you there was this code here, but there is another convenient place for the code, which is inside the little start book I discovered because I was thinking how am I going to show you guys how to set this up if I plug it in like this and you can't see the code so I'm gonna we're gonna hook this lamp up to it right now I'm just gonna plug this guy in right here and I'm gonna unplug the lamp and a little bit of lighting change there so by default it'll turn it on when you plug it in so that's okay um, and uh, yeah okay everyone now that we have it plugged in I have the, I have a phone here. It's not my phone, but I'm recording on my phone. So this is the phone I'm using. Anyway, I have a home set up so we can set up a little home and home kit and get it working. Uh, we have our magical code here that tells us, that tells home kit how to connect to it. We're gonna connect the two together. Okay, so I'm gonna start by hitting add accessory and It'll say, you know, scan the code. So I'm gonna hold the code up here to the camera. Ding. And it's gonna say, which one do you wanna add? I'm gonna pick iHome Smart Plug. So now this will take a second. So one thing to know about this, okay, and now it's asking if I wanna add it to the network and I'm saying yes. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna share my Wi-Fi information with the home kit, with the, with the plug. So the plug will know how to connect to the network. Uh, this takes just a second. So if you're doing this and it feels like it's taking forever, this is the only downside about HomeKit, I think, is it does take a long time to add new things. Sometimes it doesn't, it just depends on the device, but give it some time. Sometimes it just takes a second because it has to connect to the device, connect to the Wi-Fi, connect back to the device again, and then disconnect from it, and then try to connect to the device through the Wi-Fi. It's complicated. You don't see all that on your phone, you just see this spinning bar the whole time, which is what you're seeing right now on this. Oh, there we go, it's done. And look at that, it's, it just flashed to tell us where it is. Okay, so I can set it to, I can change the name of it. I'm gonna call it the lamp. 
And we're gonna say it's in the default room. We can make a new room. We'll make a we'll make an office here. Should we make an office? I could show you another video sometime about HomeKit if you want and using the Home app. Because the Home app is actually not a bad app. I like it quite a lot. So we're gonna put it in the office and we're gonna make it a light. So it uses the we're gonna use a light icon here. And then hit done. I don't know why the light icon. Oh, there we go, it changed. Oops, wrong thing. YouTube home. There we go. Alright. So it says the office light is on, and there you go. It's showing up there. And I can just push that, turns off the light, push it again, turns it right back on again. So there you go. There's setting it up. Okay, so that's the setup for HomeKit using the iHome Control Smart Plug. There's lots of fun things you can do with HomeKit. You can connect it up to timers, automations. Uh, let's say I have a motion sensor in the room and I want to turn on the lights when I come in the room. That's one way I can do it. The, the only thing you need to remember about HomeKit as well is that if you want to access your devices outside your home, uh, you have to have an Apple TV or you need an iPad running at least iOS 11, I believe. I could be wrong on that. I'll let you know. Uh, or you need a HomePod, which is Apple's uh, smart speaker. You need one of those devices though to be able to access it outside your home. So that's my video. Uh, if you have any other thoughts, questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment. Please like, subscribe. I'm gonna be making more videos. I really want to do this. This is gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Share this with your friends. I'm gonna have some other future projects coming up. Like I said, more HomeKit stuff. Uh, definitely some video game stuff, because I love video games. I'm a big gamer. And if you want to support me, uh, this is not my day job. This is my hobby. So if you want to help support getting these videos out there, you can check out my Patreon page. Patreon page. It's down in the description. I left a link for you. You just tap on that and head on over. Any, any help you can provide would be wonderful. You guys are great. Have a wonderful day.